Taurus, welcome. Your December singles read. Um, changing things up a little bit, bringing out a new read this week. I call it the Tarot Storytime Singles Read. And I'm just going to tell a story of your love life. That's going to be the reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause a minute for everybody to finish laughing and saying out loud or in your heads. <laughs> that shouldn't take long, dude. That won't take that long. <laughs> Well, we'll take a few minutes with it and just try to do something a little different. Um, try to build a story from around this 10 card spread here, okay? So let's see how our story starts, okay? And um, the Five of Wands over the Page of Cups. Isn't that amazing? The page the last time that position. So this is you. Um, starting out with this page of cups, um, you were someone that was in a large family and probably early on you kind of separated yourself emotionally. I probably bullying going on too. It might have been physical. So this is your story from the childhood here. Uh, but I get with this too with the page of cups being underneath that you didn't make let this make you bitter. You know, probably that's going to continue. Uh, right into now, okay? And now, uh, wow, um, yeah. It, the setting for your childhood was uh, not only strife, you know, amongst your siblings, uh, might have been the neighborhood you were in you didn't like. Um, your parents didn't have a lot of money. Um, there were probably more, more than one, there was probably more than once um, that the tower fell, you were uh, kicked out of your apartment, out of your home, something like this, and had to struggle. Guys, Ace of Swords, I, I don't know, it's I gotta say, there's something about you um, that's very resilient here, Taurus, um, because I like this Ace of Swords coming under this tower. Um, it's kind of like you making the best of it. It's like you walking away from kind of what's like family violence and just uh, tension and arguing and maybe even physical fighting like with just your siblings. And you walk away from it taking with you a uh, love. Like Taurus, you're a very loving person. Um, and this is the story that's coming out. Um, and here, um, it's you being able to understand, I think, with the Ace of Swords is that in the midst of whatever kind of turmoil was going on, it, it might have been a kind of literal destruction going on. You may have lost a home, uh, I think more than once, you may have lost a home to flooding here, Taurus, uh, in your childhood and young adulthood, um, teenage years, um, to fire even, this kind of thing. And this you just coming up with it and saying, you know, well, you know, we're all alive, that's the important thing. Um, so I think like, even as a child, probably you had a lot of wisdom with this Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. And speaking to you as a child, in this kind of environment now, and let's see what we get now. The, the Hierophant. This is speaking of when you get married. Wow. <laughs> This page of cups, um, your channeling and your uh, page of cups energy is what kind of what you are here, Taurus. I mean, this could be Venus. Maybe you have Venus and Pisces. Um, really have that kind of love, that open, uh, unconditional ability to love. Now, what's coming in with the hair font here is marriage. And, um, you know, um, you're someone that can put a good spin on things. Um, you're probably very attractive in more ways than one. Um, I get. The, I think a lot of what's going on with the Page of Cups is like, and you're a very Venetian. You're uh, that's really emphasized Venus, not only your sun but your Venus planet, and so you know you don't want. Um, you can't really stand, or it might be empathic too. Throw that into the mix, okay? So you can't really stand this arguing. That would continue on into adulthood for sure um, because you just absorb it, you know, uh, but you don't like absorb it and give it back, okay? Also, this is you learning to create boundaries and cut ties. Uh, the story is that at some point in your young adulthood, probably once you were like a, a 
the um, 21 say you cut ties in some way with your family and then in comes a marriage with this water sign so we're looking at a cancer scorpio or pisces man or woman someone likely that you saw as being a sturdy um a strong you know king energy male female doesn't matter um, you saw them as stable i think you know now coming from where you're coming from i gotta think about what's really stable um, and kind of any kind of king is stable. Now, what would be really stable if this was a king of pentacles? But let's see what we got now. So we move along. Yes, yeah, seven of pentacles and the ace of cups. And that's coming next to this king of cups. Wow. I think what you're deciding, and it, this comes in, I really do think you have a Pisces, Venus, a Taurus. Would you leave a comment and tell me if you're watching this? And I would be interested to know. Um, or a seventh house sun, or something that really emphasizes relationships, because I think that's what's going on. And, and you're really manifesting kind of what you give. Like you're very loving and supportive and caring. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't a cancer person you have here. That you brought in or you know could could be Pisces um, but now what we have is the last card is that you know ace of cups that says a lot uh, that says in the end that you're happy it's a little bit of a hard one happiness and you know what's going on with the seven of Pentacles is this means this has been going on for some time we're telling a story here of something that happened in the past you've been married maybe seven years Maybe seven years um, and you've had time to take a look such a good depiction of seven of pentacles energy examining the crop did the crop work out the way you wanted what you expected you wanted a king you know and I think what this says is that yes you are and I can almost literally hear you saying you know they're not perfect but they're perfect for me and or they're not perfect and you know maybe they're not the best provider or they're not the most practical spouse in the world but you know what i love them and they give me a lot of love and that's i've taken away in my life the story that what i want for me is a lot of love and this is someone being all in to um to you so you know um this is really i feel like I, I don't know it's almost is it unprecedented it's like a, a singles here going along and uh, finding a um, um, person and falling in love and having a good relationship here. So, I mean, if this hasn't happened yet, um, it's got to be imminent and I think it's going to be real. And I'm just getting the story of someone that gets into a solid marriage. It's not, I don't even think this is like moving in. This is getting into a marriage with this water sign, probably cancer person, and being married for some length of time. And maybe I'm thinking, just looking back after seven long years, and then realizing, you know, you you picked the right one. So right now, I mean, if you're dealing with a Pisces, particularly, you know, maybe that is the one, um, um, guys. Um, so uh, water goes with earth, so that wouldn't uh, be a, such a bad thing right off the so much more than that <laughs> but let me know what you think of this um do um like give me a thumbs up make a comment love to hear from you about your venus sign or your mars or you got other uh, significant energy uh in pisces okay um and so um your seventh house is pisces and you're bringing in pisces but i should say it could be a cancer too either way i just don't see so much see scorpio uh, but this is really cool i really like this i really like it for you um, and um, it's predictive and I think I'm just seeing here uh, like like a successful relationship developing this kind of describes your childhood this is what's coming I mean you could say since uh, this is the hair font here um, you know that's Taurus too um, so you could have someone also has significant Taurus energy uh, in their chart too I mean they could have a Taurus moon and uh, Taurus uh, rising something like this guy so let me know what you think of this um, I appreciate it 
And if you haven't, do subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you, guys.